But oh my God, what about the little boy, the five-year-old boy that fucking shot his teacher? Or six years old. Six-year-old boy that shot his teacher. Like, where did he get that gun from? Like, I, that's a part I don't ever get. Like, okay, where the fuck? So this nigga really fucking held it around like a motherfucking adult. He held the gun in his purse or some shit. Yeah, what well, little boy, he took the gun to school and shot his teacher. In Virginia. Um... They put the student in custody. Six-year-old, he's a first grade, guys. I'm telling you right now, if, if I'm a t- fucking teacher, fuck that. And if a, sh- a six-year-old pull out a motherfucking gun and try to shoot me, I'm pulling that shit back. I'm pulling that shit out and I'm pulling that shit back. Fuck you, little boy. Put that shit down if I blow your motherfucking head off. Oh, that wasn't right. Is that right? That's not right, right, y'all. But I don't give a fuck. If a little six-year-old trying to fucking shoot me, I'm shooting that motherfucker back. Fuck them shit that motherfucker first. Fuck her back. First. Fuck you think this is, broski? You want your motherfucking head, little man? The fuck is wrong with you? Put that shit down, dick. See, nah, he wouldn't do that the fuck to me. And I hope your other walk outside, a whole bunch of six year old with motherfucking glass. Who you was talking to, Miss Terry? My motherfucking ass. I'm saying gangster. I'm I don't give a fuck. Let me pull out my fucking Uzi. Talking the fuck to y'all. Who the fuck y'all think y'all talking to? Black, black. Hey guys, this is Quaya Tari guys. Thanks for following me. Thanks for even clicking on my video. Like the fuck. Um, so why am I dressed like this? Boom. Because my first topic is like crazy. So I wanted to make sure that I was low. Like just in case. Like just in case, guys. I just want to be low like this. I'm, I feel like I'm in the back of the hood. In the back of the hood and shit, right, y'all? Chilling like this. Like, mm. I feel like I can rap now, too. Like, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck a nigga. Yeah. 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 Smack a nigga in the face. Make him look like mates. Uh. Makes be rapping, uh, and he be praying. Yeah, prayed up, stay up. Have a gap when I'm laid up, uh. Laid up with who? I'm lonely. I ain't got no boo, uh. Cars running around like a motherfucking glue, uh. Stuck on them. Who knew? Hey. All right, guys. Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Hi, everybody. So, guys, the first um, little topic we're talking about, that's why I have my hoodie on, like, trying to get on my, my bag, right, y'all? So, my first topic is, what's up, boy, like, Pablo Escobar, right? Is it Pablo Escobar? Let's check, make sure, because I'm be saying anything. I don't fucking know who the people be. So, I'm trying to find it, because I don't want to mess it up, guys, and you guys are going to be like, oh, fuck. Fuck you talking about? I'm not Pablo Escobar. It's not Pablo Escobar. She's so retarded. Like your fucking mom. Your fucking mom's retarded. Your fucking mom's fucking slow. That's who's fucking slow. Okay, here we go. So guys, I gotta put my hoodie on because I'm not playing with. I'm not playing with Pablo. Like for real. Like for real. So, oh, see, it wasn't Pablo. See, I knew y'all was gonna be talking shit. So thank gosh. Um. So basically. El Chapo, El Chapo with the Glocko, make a motherfucking Rocco in the Blocko. Uh, boom. So, guys, El Chapo, just son, just got arrested in Mexico. They are fucking tearing Mexico down. They want that nigga back, okay? It's just like, give him back. Like, give him back. If they could do all this over there, guys. It's a war zone, apparently, out there. And the craziest thing about it, like, El Chapo. See, that's why I'm scared. Like, let me put my motherfucking hoodie on, y'all, just in case. Because if I talk about this and they screenshot it, at least it could be like, who the fuck is that bitch? Yo, El Chapo, he look like a square. Like, it's so crazy. Like a fucking square. Like, like nigga. And his son look a little squares, too. Like... I don't know, guys. 
like his son don't even like he bought that life, but his son got the whole motherfucking Mexico up in motherfucking flames, okay? They shooting that fucking air air fucking planes and shit. They got the fucking marshal. They shooting at everything. They they fucking turn the Mexico out. I'm happy I don't fucking live in Mexico. It's so crazy because like damn I'm so happy that United States is like be on our shit. Like we can't be like Mexico. What the fuck is that? They going off over their fucking bombs and shit. They ain't fucking playing. I don't even know if they got bombs. I just said that. <laughs> but they fucking shooting, bitch. Shit on fire. So what the fuck is that? All because Mexico arrested El Chapo's son. El, Ch- El Chapo. It gives me like big guy. Like El Chapo. Like big bull. But he like a little, a little small, little Mexican that be doing our fucking yards and shit, y'all. So, but like I said, like, I don't want to come, please don't come after me like, I suck your dick. I suck your dick, El Chapo. Don't fuck with me, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, El Chapo. But I just had to say that, like, if he was in the United States, I don't think he'd be getting the bitches. I think he'd be fucking mowing the lawn and shit. Damn, that's fucked up. Is that racist, y'all? I'm not trying to be racist because around here we have the Mexicans that come out here and the motor law. Like, all respect to them, good hustle. Like, cause they be out here doing every fucking body. All the rich people with shit houses. Like, so I mean, they get money, but it's like, what the fuck are y'all doing out there? Like, I now I see why Mexicans and shit like that be trying to come over to the United States. Shit be crazy out there. What the fuck is that? So just cause y'all arrest, arrested somebody, they could blow the whole fucking whole city up and shit. Like, see, yeah, no. Like, thank God we're in the United States, y'all. Let's do our pledge of allegiance. Our pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. <laughs> For liberty and justice for all. Okay, guys. Make sure y'all fucking salute motherfucking United States. Cause that shit there. It's a bullshit. Okay. So, next fucking topic. El Chapo. That's what I want to be named. El Chapo. <laughs> What's your name? My name is El Chapo. Like, nigga, back the fuck up, right? If I tell a nigga my name is El Chapo, right, y'all? What's your name, shorty? My name is El Chapo, bro. Oh, chopper, motherfucker. I get the motherfucker chopper started, motherfucker. Fuck you, me. Back up. Back up, little nigga. Fuck you, talking about your little name, James, and shit. My name, motherfucker, El Chopper. Fuck you, gonna do with me? Let them know. Fuck that. Hey. Mm. All right. Next topic. So, I don't have to be in disguise anymore. Hi, guys. I am back. Let's see what else I have for you guys that we could talk about. <laughs> We're done with the El Chapo. Make a lot of Glocko with the motherfucking Rocco. You smoke rock, you're fucking crackhead. Oh my God, it's a shame because Fresh Montana was having like a photo shoot in Miami. Um, and apparently like 10 people got shot. I didn't see if anybody died or anything. I didn't, I didn't hear that, that someone died. But what the fuck? 10 people got shot while, while he was doing his... um. Video shoot. And it sucks. I hope they don't be trying to sue him and everything like it was his fucking fault. Apparently, somebody got robbed in a crowd. And then I guess he just started letting off fucking shots. Apparently, I don't know, though. Um, that's just the rumor. He started letting off shots because he got robbed by, for his shit. I'm like, damn, bro, why you had to shoot 10 of them? I'm sure 10 of them didn't rob you, bro. Fucking aim right, bro. Aim at the nigga, not the fucking 10. Aim at the motherfucking one that did this shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, but he shot 10 people. And, guys, so, Kim Kardashian and Northwest, I, and one thing, too, I'm a big fan. I love Kim Kardashian. A lot of black girls, a lot of black girls don't like Kim Kardashian, the ones that I meet. But I love Kim Kardashian. Like, first of all, she's bad as a motherfucker. Like, let's not lie. Like, let's not lie. She's bad as a bitch. Some of them a bitch. Okay. So, let's not play games. Like, she's really bad. I love her. So, her her daughter, her daughter dressed up like Kanye and did a video. And she did a video with her, with the daughter dressed up like Kanye. At this point, like, Kim want the panties done. Like, Kim want the panties pulled down to the side. 
Kim want Kanye. That's what that was. People like, oh, they they're trying to um get on Kanye's nerves. Then they trying to get out. No, Kim want Kanye. It was Kim fucking idea. She want to get slammed. Okay. So, but I be scared as hell to get slammed by Kanye. He start fucking talking in the middle of fucking, fucking. Oh, Louis Vuitton's fucked up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck Louis. Fuck Gucci. Come on. Come on. You was wearing that shit last night, huh? Like, I'm not fucking with you, Kanye. Get the fuck off of me. The fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> he said, the very first time that I saw you in a brown eye. Your lips said hello, and I said hi. I gotta stop playing, because I gotta move on. Oh, baby. He said, I was caught up. All right, so, see, that nigga used to be cheating back in the day. So, I was caught up. Mm-hmm. At physical attraction. All right, bro, what the fuck was you talking about? Okay, so, this is a good one, guys. So, the baby, baby mom put a video up talking about that, that she, used, she used to use her, her daughter's pee to clear her face up. Um, and she was like, y'all never heard that. Like, I heard that. I heard that. I heard it a bunch of times, but I wasn't trying it. Wasn't fucking trying it. Yo, I swear to fucking God, yo, one time, right, I went to, to like, this job orientation, right? And I'm in my class doing my thing, whatever, in a little orientation. It was a couple of, a couple of us, like, about seven of us, right? And then this bitch was talking, and she was like, um, yeah, you know, people always say, you know, come, it's like sperm, Really um, get your hair to grow back or whatever. You know, you know, you can put on your edges. You know, it gets your hair to grow back. So I'm like, okay, the fuck you telling me that for? Cause I ain't using it. So she was saying that like you place it like physically put the sperm on your hair, right? So I'm like, sticky ass hair. I just didn't understand that. So right. So okay, the very next day, bitch, I'm in the class with her, and all of a sudden on her edges, I see all this crusty white stuff. Like, bitch, is that sperm today? Ew, what are you doing? I mean, it could have been jail, I guess, but after she told me that fucking story, I'm like, this bitch wore sperm today. Like, bitch, are you serious? Get that nasty stuff the fuck away from me. I told her, I said, yo, she got sperm in her fucking hair. I don't want her to touch shit I got. So, fucking snitching. I'm motherfucking snitching. Uh, fuck that. I knew that was sperm. Mmm. Fucking snitched on a bitch. How about that? And I already had my stitches, so I'm good. Okay. Yeah, but that's dirty, right? Like, just imagine. I don't care what someone tells me. Oh, uh, this helps with that. This helps with that. I don't give a fuck what helps with what. Because I don't want to do that. Like, see, every time I talk shit, it's like something gets in my eyes. Like, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is not happening. Like, what are y'all talking about some days? I don't be knowing some days with y'all shit because I'm not trying. I don't care who, how many grandmoms, aunties told me that. I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it, Miss fucking Angela. So, oh, oh, Bobby Smurda did like this little freestyle, whatever. Everybody keeps saying he corny. Like, when did y'all think that Bobby Smurda was hot? Like, I'm confused. The fuck y'all thought Bobby Smurda was the, the man for the rapping? I'm confused. Like, please help me. But, oh, my God, what about the little boy, the five-year-old boy that fucking shot his teacher? Or six years old. Six-year-old boy that shot his teacher. Like, where did he get that gun from? Like, I, that's a part I don't ever get. Like, okay, where the fuck? So, this nigga really fucking held it around like a motherfucking adult. He held the gun in his purse or some shit. Yeah, what well, little boy, he took the gun to school and shot his teacher. In Virginia. Um... They put the student in custody. Six-year-old, he's a first grade, guys. I'm telling you right now, if, if I'm a t- fucking teacher, fuck that. And if a, sh- a six-year-old pull out a motherfucking gun and try to shoot me, I'm pulling that shit back. I'm pulling that shit out and I'm pulling that shit back. Fuck you, little boy. Put that shit down if I blow your motherfucking head off. Oh, that wasn't right. What, is that right? That's not right, right, y'all. But I don't give a fuck. If a little six-year-old trying to fucking shoot me, I'm shooting that motherfucker back. Fuck that shit, that motherfucker first. Fuck her back. First. Fuck you think this is, broski? You want your motherfucking head, little man? The fuck is wrong with you? Put that shit down, dick. See, now, 
he wouldn't do that the fuck to me. And I hope your all would walk outside a whole bunch of six-year-old with motherfucking glots. Who you was talking to, Miss Terry? My motherfucking ass. I'm saying gangster. I'm a long girl. Fuck, let me pull out my motherfucking Uzi. Talking the fuck to y'all. Who the fuck y'all think y'all talking to? Black, 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 black. Y'all, my motherfucking property six-year-olds. The fuck? The fuck they think they talking to? Yeah, nah. It wouldn't be fucking me. Okay. Okay. Yo, I just watch, and that's another thing too, yo. I watched this fucking um this documentary or whatever. And it was about like basically these people, right? It was called Don't Pick Up My Phone. It's on Netflix, y'all. Y'all gotta watch it. These this guy will call into um these restaurants, mainly McDonald's, like McDonald's, Wendy's, stuff like that. And he'll call into these restaurants to talk to these managers and get these these managers to sexual assault the people that work there. Um, even even one time they got the customer, they sexually assault a customer. So um, it just be going down, y'all. Y'all gotta watch the fucking show. I don't know how the fuck it happened. I don't know what the fuck, but they was even raping the motherfucker. They was getting head. They was fucking having sex, all types of shit with the motherfucking um, workers, and they was letting them do it. They all fucking dumb, you ask me. But the one girl sued McDonald's. She got a bag off McDonald's like, Psh, I'll suck a dick for eight million, mister. So, yeah, she was uh, she she sucked the damn, the supervisor manager dick. I don't even know if she sucked the dick. I'm lying. I'm lying. That was a lie. But he, they was getting some people to suck dick. Shit. I don't know if she got, I don't know if she did it. And if she didn't, she still got eight million in. And if she did do it, eight million in. That's one thing I be always wanting to say. Like, I be seeing these little statuses or whatever. They be like, um, "Would you, would you to a guy? I guess would you suck dick for five million? Nice clean dick. Would you suck it for five million or not?" All oh, niggas like, "Nah, I'm never doing that. I'm never. That's the fuck you are. You sloppy in that motherfucker. Damn, bro. You get a nigga a wet one. You wanna it off a little bit? Like, don't tell nobody. Do I gotta tell people?" Like, that is bullshit that y'all not doing that. Y'all doing that. I, I don't give a fuck. I'm eating a twat for $8 million. Like, bitch, open up. Bitch, open the fuck up. Like, $8 million, bitch? Yes, I'm doing it. So, I don't want to fucking hear it. Y'all niggas doing it too. Y'all going to be like, $8 million. How many sucks you need? $8 million sucks? Okay. You get right. Like, shut the fuck up. Y'all doing it. So, I don't want to hear it. Y'all fucking doing it. Y'all doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. Doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. Or that's topic for the motherfucking thing. And Lizzo. Lizzo. The fuck. You can be big and beautiful if you want. That's the fuck on you. But I will honestly say, I guess from my perspective, um, is that. Me personally, I don't like being too big. No, not and I get big sometimes when I be getting greedy. Um and it's just not healthy for me. Like I feel like for me personally, not for Lizzo or anything, but for me personally, like when I get like chunky, which like I'm still a little bit chunky, you know, I don't feel good. Like I don't like my knees hurt. Bitch, I can't do the Megan right now, like because I'm like fucking 30, 40 pounds overweight. I'm being extra, but it don't matter. Um, I feel like it just gives you a little more problems than like being big and being heavy. It gives you problems that you don't need to have. Actually, like I'm in nursing school and shit. So actually, uh, obesity um, is the second cause to death in America and not obesity itself, but problems that come from obesity, like diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, things like that, like heart failure, um, like your heart's not working right. A lot of that stuff can come from obesity. Um, so it's like the second leading cause of death. So, I mean, it's like, and people say, oh, I'm healthy. I'm healthy. Even though I'm 300 pounds, but it's like, how healthy are you? Your bone can, your body can only support a certain amount of weight. Like that's just what it is. Your bones can only su- support a certain amount of weight, and you keep wearing, wearing it down, wearing it down, wearing it down. Eventually, your body's gonna shut down on you. So you kind of gotta like. But that's just me. So I don't fucking know. 
I don't know. That's just me. But when I my fucking come out with my motherfucking baby suit on, y'all like she too skinny. I'm like I don't give a fuck. I don't give a mother fuck. Who the fuck gonna tell? Who the fuck gonna check me? No fucking body. Be whoever the fuck you wanna be. If you wanna be fat, you wanna do whatever you wanna do, you wanna be skinny. Cause really, skinny bitches could get osteoporosis when they get older. So that's not coming from fat. That's coming from too skinny. You can get osteoporosis. So who fucking knows? Cause certain things, so you can get anything any fucking way. You could. And then my guess me with bitches that be talking about, oh, um, you and you fat, you unhealthy. Bitch, y'all be fucking with no kind of more niggas y'all just met on Tinder. That's fucking unhealthy, bitch. Y'all be smoking miles like a motherfucker. That's unhealthy, bitch. Y'all got a pack of fucking new purse in your back pocket right now. That's unhealthy, bitch. So why do y'all always be coming for fat bitches is my problem. Like, y'all always want to come for bitches that's fat. The appearance. Like, what about y'all? So much unhealthy shit you guys are doing is unfucking real, you know? The fuck is wrong with y'all? Stop trying to come for a big bitch when y'all just doing dumb shit yourselves. Okay, in the motherfucking vet, bitch. Okay, guys, let's go to my letters, letters, letters. Quaid to read me, please, time, guys, because I love that. I This is the reason why I want to do it. I just want to read y'all stuff and read y'all business because I'm so nosy. That's all it is. Can y'all please send me some more shit so I can give y'all some advice or whatever, help y'all go on with y'all life so y'all can be like the fucking one in the fucking two, bitch. We try to make 2023 better. Excuse me. I'm not saying I'm going to get the best advice. But it's going to be good. It's going to be fucking good. So send it in, please. I'm going to, um, you can email me. I'm going to see you put the email up here. Boom. Um, you can message me on Instagram, not really Facebook cause I don't have a message on Facebook, but message me on Instagram and message me on, e- um, an email. Um, so I'm gonna put it up here guys. So please message me. If y'all have any questions, I can help you guys. I might play a little bit too much, but I be, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. How about that? Like, how about that? I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Who the fuck else? No, not nobody else but me, but motherfucking me. Okay. Let's go. So, the story is, um, I am a 28-year-old female that is trying to figure out life. Okay, you're going to go right into it. I have been finding myself in, in situations I don't ask for. I say I have the worst luck ever. The, I, be, I don't like when people say that, but we're going to move on. But when you say you have, when you, I used to say that back in the day. I have bad luck. I have bad luck. When you keep saying that, you're going to keep having bad luck. It's going to keep showing up. So, stop saying that. That's number one. And like, who needs luck when you got God? So fuck the luck. I'm pushing God. Okay, she said, um, I have a three-year-old son, and I'm a single parent. His dad is a mess, okay, and sees his son barely since he got married. And now they are having a kid together, okay? And it hurts me knowing it's going to be less time with my kid. I would try to call him for the kid, for my kid, yet he doesn't even answer. I'm getting tired of chasing him to take care of our son. I would tell him all the time I didn't have him on my own. My problem is stop chasing him. Like, listen here. If you got, I have a, I have a problem with that too. Like, if you have to force, like, a son that you love, I'm sure you love him. Your son. It's like, I don't even know who you love. You talk about him being married and shit, bitch. That's another problem, too. I be feeling like sometimes bitches be worried about the wrong shit. Who gives a fuck who he's married? Who gives a fuck if he got married? I wouldn't even add that part. I wouldn't even add it that he got married, he got a kid. Who gives a fuck if he got married, got a kid? Stop worried about dumb shit. Stop worried about niggas, what they got doing, going on afterwards. I be feeling like that's a big part of your problem is that y'all worry about his life outside of y'all. Like, who gives a motherfuck? What he got going on? Apparently, he don't take care of kids. So, why are you worried about his fucking real life? Like, who gives a fuck? Fuck that nigga. Like, dead and all, baby dad and all. Fuck him. I would try to call. Stop trying to call him then. I would try to call him for the kids. Yeah, he doesn't answer. Stop trying to call him. Stop calling him. Let's write that down on the top. Stop calling him. 
and don't worry about his other business. I'm getting tired of chasing him to take care of our son. Stop. I would tell him all the time I don't I didn't make him on my own. He know you didn't make him on your own. What the fuck you had to tell him for? He knows that you don't you, you didn't make him on your fucking own. The fuck you think he think you married? Bitch, you know what the fuck what the fuck happened? So you just had to chase a nigga around. Stop chasing niggas around for dumb Listen. I want better for my son and I hate this for my son, of course. I just wish it was different. I wish it I picked a different dad for him. You fucking wish fucking smish, bitch. It's over. It's done. Your fucking son is here. Even with the money. Okay, even with money for my son. I have to chase Larry, my baby dad, Larry. I noticed she didn't put her name in here, but she put Larry. Um, Even with the money. my Even with the money for my son. I have to chase Larry, Larry my baby dad, around for pull-up money, food money, clothes money, etc. That's what they got the child support cops for, bitch. You don't have to do that at all. Put that motherfucker on child support and go about your fucking way. Let the fucking cops do it with his dumb ass. Like, you don't have to chase anybody. Listen to me. If that nigga want to take care of his kid, he will be taking care of him. If he want to be his kid life, he will be in his kid life. Stop fucking chasing people around for dumb fucking shit. Like, listen... God bless you with a kid. Enjoy your fucking blessing. That nigga don't want to enjoy his blessing. That's the fuck on him. Let him do whatever the fuck he want to do. Put that nigga on child support. Stop chasing him the fuck around and do what's best for you, you and your fucking kid. Because imagine that. And even if you get through to him, okay, uh, be there for you. It's like you forcing someone to be in your kid's life. Like, I ain't for that. Like, shit, I love my fucking kids enough. I'm not forcing nobody to be around in my motherfucking kid's life. That's just period out. Period. And stop doing that. Like, you don't want nobody that got to be forced to be here. Just imagine. If I, if you force your nigga to go back with you. Like, it's like. The fucking force didn't go the fuck ahead. I shouldn't have to force you exactly what you're doing with your kid. You shouldn't have to force a man to be around his kid. To understand how valuable the kid is. And understand how valuable you are. Or whatever. Bitch, you're like, you a little jealous. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, it said it just gets. It gets tiring. Okay, it gets tiring because you've fucking, you've been chasing since I read this motherfucking video. Read this fucking letter. That's why you're tired. You've been running. You're a fucking runner at this point. You're chasing this nigga around. you tired. Of course, I'll be tired too chasing a nigga every fucking where. All his motherfucking business. Oh, I just want him to understand how important it is to be a dad to our son. The fuck are you going to do? That you didn't try to do yet already. Do you have any advice on what I should do going forward? Because I am out of options. Live your best life. Take care of your kids. Grow the fuck up. Glow the fuck up. Let that nigga know he fucking missed out. And if he don't fucking know, bitch, you'll fucking let him know sooner than fucking later. That's another thing too. Like it is very important for for the kids to have a father in the house. That, that's just very important. Let's just say that that is very, very, very important. That a kid has a father to look up to and a mother, to, a healthy mother. That's even more important. A healthy mother, a mother that's not showing a kid that you got to worry about a nigga knocking on the door for everything to be in order. Like no, like a healthy mother, and they do do need a healthy father that wants to be in the house. You know. Because if not, if not, if it's not that, it's fucked up. Like, but point of me fucking saying that, bitch, you get better, you do better in life, and then you're going to find somebody that's doing better in life, that's doing what you're doing. Don't be fucking getting no scrub-ass niggas to fucking look at the motherfucking son sometimes, bitch. So basically, what you need to do, bitch, you get better, do better, meet somebody on your fucking level that's doing better just with you, Right? And let him be a fucking father figure. Cause it, don't, it don't mean that you need a fucking blood father in your fucking life. Fuck that nigga. Fuck Larry. Fucking Larry Hoover ass nigga. Fuck Larry. Like, no, you're going to find somebody that loves you, that loves your kid. Keep on praying. It's going to come your fucking way. Like, all the other shit is bullshit. Don't fucking deal with the bullshit. Don't worry about who he married to. And you shouldn't even know he about to have a kid unless he told you. Even that it's annoying. I don't give a fuck, Larry. Um, and Larry already seemed like a little screwed up anyway. Either he's a clown or he's screwed up. But, guys, I really appreciate this. This was very fun. Um... We're shooting up Larry Hoover tomorrow. It's like, nah. 
But thank you for watching my show, guys. Again, make sure y'all follow me. Tune in to the motherfucking next episode, bitch. We out here getting it. You already know. Let's turn dreams into realities, guys, this year. And get to this money, guys. That's it. That's all I got to say. I love you guys. Make sure y'all follow me. Make sure y'all subscribe to everything. My YouTube channel. Subscribe. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me every fucking weird bitch. But don't be doing too much following like this bitch on this motherfucking letter chasing at the Larry or do. I think y'all should chase me because it'll be fun. It'll be a fun fucking ride, guys. Love y'all. See y'all later. I'm out.